Good morning, students. How are you all, children? So I hope all are fine. Have you learned that last class portion? Have you learned? Say yes or no. Yes. Good children. Okay. Let us one small review in the previous class portion. Okay. What are the things you learned that last class? Do you remember? Do you remember? Yes. Good. Very good children. Tell me. What are the things learned? Very good. One of the five mark question. What is the difference between gram positive and gram negative bacteria? Clear? Yes. Uh, the next one. What is the next one? Life processes in bacteria. Good. Very good. So they have learned that three concepts. Nutrition, respiration, reproduction. Clear? Yes. Just I ask them two more questions, children. What are capnophilic bacteria? Very good. The bacterium for their growth, they require carbon dioxide. Good. Very good. So that is known as capnophilic bacteria. Clear? Yes. Then next one is reproduction. What are the two types of reproduction? Asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Clear? Yes. Asexual means what are the types? Endospore formation and binary fission. Am I correct? Yes. Then sexual reproduction in bacteria. What is the concept? They are not formation of this fusion and formation of the gametes. But they G recombination is takes place. The gene is transferring. Am I correct? Yes. So that one they takes place in a three methods. What are the three methods? Do you remember that? Very good. Try it, children. The sexual reproduction in bacteria. Sexual reproduction in bacteria. There is three methods. Reproduction in bacteria, three methods. What are the three methods? First one is conjugation. Very good. Conjugation. Second one, transformation. Transformation. And the third one is transduction. Transduction. Am I correct, children? Yes, very good. So the last class, we had completed this much. Up to conjugation. Do you remember that conjugation? Yes. Good. Very good. So today's class we are going to learn the second sexual reproduction in bacteria transformation. Okay. First one. What does mean by transformation children? What does mean by transformation? Very good. The transfer of DNA from one bacterium to another bacterium. Okay. So that is known as transformation. Clear? This transformation. So this is the one of this experiment. So this transformation experiment that is demonstrated by that is a person that is a bacteriologist name is Frederick Griffith. Okay. So that person only they demonstrated this experiment. That person they using the transformer is mice species. It is a, a host organism. Clear? Yes. Good. So this person, they discovered this experiment in the year of 1928. Clear? This person, they are using this bacterial species is the Diplococcus pneumoniae. Diplococcus pneumoniae. This is just one introduction section. So this is comes under in a so many one word questions. So all must thoroughly cover it in this area. Clear? The next one is we are entering in this experiment part. Here first of all the Diplococcus pneumoniae, this bacterium, the person they selected, they produce a that is two type of the strains. Okay? What are the two type of the strains means? First one that is a yes type of the cells and then second one is all type of the cells. First one, yes type of cells and then second one is R type of the cells. 
so on of a lesson children this s type of the cells means that is denoted smooth colonies and virulent in nature okay so this is they representing smooth colonies smooth colonies and virulent in nature so this is the capacity virulent in nature this is the capacity of s type of the cells clear then in addition to this s type they are produces synthetic the bacterial cell they produce synthetic r type cells r type cells mean so this is a rough colony rough colony rough colonies of the cell and this is the avirulent in nature avirulent in nature so that is a non virulent type clear children so these are the two type of this bacterial strains or they produce in that bacterial cell so that's a bacterial cells that's an example of the species is a diplococcus pneumoniae understood ma yes the next one so of you see this diagram part here so the they selecting the host organism which is the which one is the transformation of this organism very good mice species okay so here this mice first of all the yes strain is injected into this mice at that time the mice is dead condition the mouse is died what happens means the smooth colonies means so that's the yes type of the cell that is a virulent in nature so that's why this strain is injected into the mouse that's a immediately the mouse is going to death so the mouse is dead, dead conditions clear the next one r type r type of this strain is injected into the mouse the mouse is they live condition they survive what happened means so this r type is the rough type of rough colonies but it's a non virulent in nature so that way the mouse is not affected so that will survive clear children yes then third step that man is trained the yes type of the cell so this is a smooth colonies and the virulent nature of the yes type of the strain the heat killed process under that one so this person they injected this type of the strain is injected into the mouse at that time so the mouse is living why the mouse is leaves this condition means the heating process of this smooth colonies at that time the protein only the dna okay the dna is act only the dna is virulent only so that's why they, they didn't affect that mouse so the mouse is they comes under the live conditions understood children then the next is there the sponsor the fredrick griffith they doing in that experiment that's a smooth killed strains and also the mixing of this rough colonies so in this regions only you have to be carefully listen the point all of you listen children smooth killed strains how to transmitted into that's a r type of the cells r type of the cells already you know the concept that is a non virulent in nature am i correct then how to this dna is transferred into this r type of the cells means the smooth killed strains they transfer to this r type now which one is they get it in a virulent nature means so that's a r type of the colony cells or it's a r type of the cells understood children now this r type so that's a smooth that's a heat killing strains that's a dna is transferred into that's a r type of the cell now that's a r type of the cell is they get it in a virulent so that's a mouse is they go in, they kind of comes to that death conditions understood children say yes or no so this is the how to the genes of they transferring from one bacterium to another clear so what is mean by transformation means the phenomenon of changing the characteristic features of the one strain they transformed by that another strain into the former is known as into the former means they mentioning in that is the first to one strain clear so that is the process is called the name is known as transformation understood children say yes or no say yes or no ma yes very good so this is the second method of sexual reproduction in bacterial cell 
clear yes the next one is the last method of sexual reproduction in bacteria transduction transduction what is transduction the third one transduction what is transduction all of you listen children what does mean by transduction means phage is the mediator the last two or three classes before we had finished that's the structure of bacteria phage am i correct this simply we are called the name is known as phage particles clear this phage particle phage is the mediator so that lose that one the dna is transferring means the transferring of dna is known as transduction but phage mediator dna transfer is known as very good transduction okay the transduction is we comes on in a two types children one is generalized transduction generalized transduction and another one is specialized transduction specialized transduction or restriction restriction transduction restriction transduction understood ma so what is transduction the next one is the transduction is they comes under in a two types one is generalized and another one is specialized specialized also called another one name is known as restriction transduction clear so first of all the transduction is discovered as the person name is known as ginter and leader birch okay ginter and leader birch so you should note it this is the one word question in the year of 1952 Okay, so in the year of 1952. So here, the transduction process they are using the bacterial cell is the Salmonella typhimura. Okay, Salmonella typhimura. So that's the species as they are used to this process. This is the transduction, the gene transfer. So that's the process they are using in this species. Clear, children? Yes. So all of you see, children. So here, this is the transduction diagram here already i told this transduction what is mean by transduction very good phage is the mediator the transferring the dna is known as transduction clear one is the generalized transduction and another one is the specialized transduction so just what do you mean by generalized transduction means all of you listen children first one the ability of this bacterial phage okay the ability of the bacterial phage they carrying that's a dna that is they entering that is a bacterial cell that is going into that cell any regions of the bacterial dna okay so this is the phage particle that's the ability of the bacterial phage they carrying that's a genetic material that is entering in the any regions of the bacterial chromosome means that is called generalized transduction clear then second one this is the ability of the bacterial phage they carrying the genetic material in a particular position ah that is specified regions clear that is known as which type of transduction specialized transduction or that is the restriction type of transduction clear children but specialized means so that's a one of the specified area one particular region okay there only there's a bacterial dna bacterial chromosomes this is the transferring dna is entering clear that one is from any region the dna is entering in the bacterial chromosome or bacterial dna that is known as first type generalized type clear children say yes or no ma yes very good the next one is we are going to learn about economic importance of bacteria economic importance of bacteria which is a syllabus they are given that's one of the big diagrammatic one differences like structure is they are given the economic importance of bacteria so many beneficial and harmful aspects or have that bacterial cell so first of all we are going to learn about that sir what are the beneficial activities of bacteria what are the beneficial activities of bacteria first one we are going to learn 
economic importance of bacteria economic importance of bacteria that is comes under the two aspects one is beneficial aspects and another one is the harmful aspects first we are going to learn it's the beneficial aspects of bacteria this beneficial aspects of bacteria that is they categorized into three first one is they comes under in that soil fertility soil fertility soil fertility and the second one is they are producing that antibiotics antibiotics and the third category is industrial uses industrial uses okay industrial uses so mainly the beneficial activities of bacteria they are mainly <coughs> categorized into three soil fertility antibiotics they are producing antibiotics and industrial uses so here also we want to prepare three five mark questions based very very important two five mark questions these first two okay these first two are very very important two five mark questions okay children yes first of all what is the role of bacteria in soil fertility means so here they are categorized they are divided into three steps children first one is ammonification 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 nitrification nitrification nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation clear children what are the steps so they come under in that what is the role of bacteria in soil fertility very good try it children ammonification very good nitrification and nitrogen fixation okay yes the ammonification means so here they are involved that's a two bacteria one is bacillus ramosus and the bacillus mycoides okay so these are the two bacterial species they involving so this ammonification process that's a complex protein molecule that is present in that is the dead bodies of the plants and animals okay so this complex protein molecule is converted into ammonia first step is ammonia then final steps the later that one is ammonia is converted into ammonium salt clear children that's a process is called the ammonification clear so ammonification means first there is a complex molecule of the protein so that is presence in the dead bodies of the plants and animals good very good so the first steps that is converted into ammonia later that step is they converted into ammonium salt clear children yes the next one is nitrification nitrification so here <coughs> involving two enzyme nitrobacter and nitrosomonas clear the two bacterial species nitrobacter and nitrosomonas what happening in this steps means here the previous steps the ammonium salt is present now that one that ammonium salt is converted into nitrates and nitrates clear ammonium salt is converted into nitrates and nitrites clear children yes the next one is nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation so here involving certain bacterial cells are clostridium rhizobium and um, acetobacter so these are the bacterial species they involve this process so what happening here means first one is the atmospheric nitrogen okay they converting this atmospheric nitrogen into organic nitrogen clear the next steps the nitrogenous compounds they oxidized to they converting in that is the nitrogen compounds okay children apo nitrogenous compounds that is oxidized into what what's the forms to prepare very good nitrogen form clear children so these are the processes so these all the activities that increases the soil fertility so so increasing this so all this the bacterial cell this is the, these are the activities what will happening that after this responses the increases the soil fertility clear children say yes or no ma yes good very good 
The next one is they are producing antibiotics. The next second one, five mark question is very very important question in general. Sometimes they will ask that three mark question. They accepted to write that's a three points, three antibiotics name as well as that's what's the bacterial species is involving, what is the use is clear. Sometimes they will ask that is together five mark questions based. Clear? Yes. Good. Very good. Then second one is the beneficial aspects. What is that? Producing antibiotics. Producing antibiotics. Okay. Yes. So here they are producing in that is the antibiotics. It's a syllabus is they are mentioning in that is the five antibiotics names. First one is streptomycin, 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 aromycin, 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 chloromycin, 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 and Basitracin, basitracin, basitracin and polymixin, poly, polymixin, okay, polymixin. So, all of you listen children, so what are the five antibiotics name? Streptomycin, aromycin, chloromycin, basitracin and polymixin, okay. So, which are the species? Which are the bacterial species we are obtained? These are the antibiotics means. First one, the streptomycin, they get it from that is the streptomyces gracious. That's a species name is streptomyces gracious. Then aromycin, streptomyces aerofaceous. That's a species name, streptomyces aerofaceous. Then chloromycin, streptomyces venicillin. Streptomyces venicillin. Basitracin, Bacillus ligoniformis. Okay. The last one, polymixin, Bacillus polymixa. Bacillus polymixa. So these are the, from these bacterial cells, they are obtaining this antibiotics. Okay. What is the uses of these antibiotics means? First of all, the streptomycin that is used for that cell, curing that cell, urinary infection, pneumonia and um, that's um, what is that meningitis, meningitis means um, that's a brain that's outer layer just swollen like uh, appearances coming so that's meningitis then um, tuberculosis the lungs are fighting disease okay so these are the disease they are using in the streptomycin antibiotics clear children are you understood? Say yes or no? Yes. Then aromycin. Aromycin, so this is the cure that um, urinary, not, not uh, sorry, that's not a urinary infection. That's eye infection. Eye infection and whooping cough. Clear? Yes. The next one is chloromycin. So this is the used to that's a typhoid fever. Mainly that is curing this antibiotic typhoid fever. Clear children? Yes. Basitracin, so this is one of this syphilis. Syphilis means that it's a sexually transmitted one disease. Syphilis, okay. Cure that's syphilis. Then polymixin, so this is mostly cure that's a, some of the bacterial diseases, okay. Some of the bacterial diseases curing this antibiotics. Clear children? So suppose they are asking the five mark question means you must write first what are the antibiotics name. Second column write that's a bacterial species name. Clear? Then third column you write that's a uses. Understood now? Say sir no? Yes. The last one of this category is the industrial uses. Okay. The next one is the industrial uses. Industrial uses. The third one is industrial uses. Industrial uses. This industrial uses means Mainly, you know that bacterial cell, which are the things, the normal life, they are used to some bacteria. What is the conversion is happened? So, here they are mentioning in the result. First one is the lactic acid. Lactic acid, so that's a Presence of this milk lactose that is converted into lactic acid. Okay, 
So first, this process they are involving in that zone of this bacterial species is the Lactobacillus lactis. Lactobacillus lactis. So first one is the main one of this milk product. The milk they represents that is lactose that is converted into lactic acid. Okay. So this process they involve that is the bacterial species is the Lactobacillus lactis. Clear? The next one is cheese preparation and butter, curd, yogurt. So these are the preparation. Here they involve that three type of the bacterial species. One is Lactobacillus lactis, Lactobacillus bulgaricus, Lactobacillus acidophilus. Okay, acidophilus. So these are the three bacterial species involved to convert that milk into curd, cheese, butter and yogurt. Clear children? Yes. So first process is the milk lactose is converted into lactic acid formation. Clear? The next one is the preparation of the cheese, butter and um, yogurt, curd, this are the preparation. Clear? The next one is acetic acid, vinegar. Okay, that's acetic acid. Vinegar. Vinegar. So this is the acetic acid. Acetic acid. How is that prepared? So which type of the bacterial cell is the involved this process means? So here yeah, there's the acetobacter acidity. Acetobacter acidity. So this acetobacter acidity. So this bacterium first steps. That get it in that ethyl alcohol. Okay, this ethyl alcohol. How will you get this ethyl alcohol? Means that is obtained by molasses. Okay, obtained from the molasses by the fermentation reaction. Fermentation reaction. They get it in that ethyl alcohol into acetic acid formation. Okay, so here they are involving that one of the bacterial species. That's a species name is. Acetobacter acetic. Clear children? So how will you? They get it the acetic acid from the ethyl alcohol. Get it that's acetic acid. So in this process, ethyl alcohol is get it from the molasses. By fermentation process only, we are obtaining this ethyl alcohol to acetic acid. Clear? Normally we are called that as a vinegar. Understood now? The next one is acetone, acetone and Acetone and alcohol. Acetone and alcohol. Okay. So how will you get that acetone and alcohol? This also we are getting in that is the by the molasses from the molasses by the fermentation anaerobic respiration reaction. Ah, very good. Anaerobic bacteria they are involving. They get it that acetone and alcohols. Okay. This acetone and the alcohols. So here they are involving in that zone of the species. Clostridium acetobutyricum. Okay, one of the species, one of the anaerobic bacteria, that's one of the very, very important bacteria, Clostridium acetobutyricum. Clear, children? Yes. Next one is they prepare in that cell vitamins. So the next they prepare that cell vitamins. Vitamins, some of the important vitamins they are producing, that's the major role for bacterial species. One of the species is Escherichia coli. Escherichia coli, Escherichia coli, and another one more is Clostridium acetobutylicum. Clostridium acetobutylicum. The Escherichia coli that is living in that is a human intestinal system. Okay, so that intestinal system, so this one is they produce us in a two type of the vitamins, vitamin K and vitamin B complex. Clear? These are the Two vitamins they produce us in its bacterial name is Escherichia coli. Clear. Clostridium. So this one is they produce us in a vitamin B2. Okay. So this one is vitamin vitamin K and B. Clear. So here this Clostridium they produce us in that vitamin is a vitamin B2. Vitamin B2. So this one is due to that is fermentation of the sugar. Okay, the fermentation of that is sugar. So they produce us in a B2, vitamin B2. Clear children? 
So yes or no ma? Yes. Then the next one of the question is very very important. Two two more questions, children. What does mean by retching of fibers? Retching of fibers. Retching of fiber. What does mean by retching of fiber? Okay. So what does mean by retching of fibers means? Here, retching means separation. Clear? So first of all, the fiber is obtained from that is a fiber yielding plants. Due to the activities of Clostridium species, okay, this due to the activities of the bacterial species of Clostridium, normally they are telling in that the Clostridium, the Clostridium species, the separation of this fibers, okay, the separation of this fibers. The next one is curing of tea and tobacco. 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 So all of you listen. Due to this activities of the anaerobic bacteria. So there also they are using in that's a two bacteria. Baseless megatherium. Baseless megatherium. So due to the activities of this bacteria. That one is they giving in a good flavor. Okay. And good aroma. Flavor means uh, different tastes. Am I correct? Aroma means sweet smell. Okay, so that's the items they're providing, and that is the that's a process is called curing of tea and tobacco. Understood, children? Say yes or no? Yes, very good. The next one is so these are the things we covered. Beneficial activities of bacteria. Next one is some of the harmful aspects of bacteria. Some of the harmful aspects of bacteria. The harmful aspects means they cause diseases in plant side, animal side, and human beings. Okay, the bacteria they cause some diseases in the host organisms of like plants, animals, and human beings. Clear, children? Yes. So, it's your syllabus is they are mentioning in it. Some of the diseases. Which pathogen they causing that diseases? What is the diseases name? So, these are the things they are given. So, first of all, plant diseases they caused by bacteria. First one is the host organism. Right? That's the name of the host. Okay. The next one is diseases name. The next one is which pathogen they cause this diseases is coming. The first one, rice. Rice, one of the diseases name is bacterial flight. Bacterial flight means, so in this bacteria, they causing in the disturb diseases, the discoloration of this plant tissues. Okay? The discoloration of the plant tissues is, uh, appearing in this symptoms, that is called bacterial flight. Okay? This causing this pathogen name is known as Sandomonas oryzae. Sandomona oryzae. The next one is apple. That's a fire blight. That's a disease name is known as fire blight. Fire blight means so the leaves are the golden color. Last that's a leaves are they burst. Okay. That's the symptoms. So that's the name of the pathogen name is known as Ervinia amylovora. Ervinia amylovora. The next one is carrot. That's a disease of name is known as soft rot. Soft rot means how will you identify that it's a soft rot disease means the tap root is decaying. Okay. So that is a soft rot diseases. The host organism, the host plant is the carrot. So in this disease they cause that is a pathogen name is Ervinia carotovara. Okay. The Ervinia carotovara. The next one is citrus. That's one of the bacterial diseases. Citrus hanger. Okay. That's a bacterial disease name as citrus hanger. So that one is they cause that's bacterium name is known as Sandomonas citri. Sandomonas citri. The next one is cotton. So that one is the angular leaf spot. That's a disease name is angular leaf spot. Angular leaf spot means so this diseases they are affect that's a three regions leaf region fruit regions and stem region stem region means decoloration of this bark 
and its fruit means the affected area the black and brown in color the leaf means completely they affected in its leaf lamina region clear that's a leaf lamina region there is a completely totally that's a changing in its form patterns so these are the things understood yes next one is potato potato so here they presents in the two diseases one is ring rot and another one is scab disease scab disease but scab disease only appear means the potato the outer surface area there is presence in a rough nature the roughish like structures okay that's a scab disease that's a causing this bacterial name is known as streptomyces scabies streptomyces scabies clear children suppose they will ask that two or three more question write any two plant diseases caused by bacteria means you write that's a three you must write that's three call up any two of the host organisms to mention clear clear children say yes or no yes next one is the bacterial diseases caused by animal clear the animal so here the first one is they are mentioning in the sheep it's a host organism sheep the name of the diseases is a anthrax anthrax means uh, so hopefully this symptom is appear that means the uh, the blood is discharges from the natural openings clear that's the symptoms they highlight that's a anthrax disease so they um, that's one of the name of the pathogen is bacillus anthrax bacillus anthrax the next one is totally that's the remaining that's a disease so they comes under in a cattle feed okay that's cattle feed the total cattle feed one of the diseases brucellosis brucellosis means the muscle pain and sweating okay the muscle pain and sweating is up here so that's a name of the pathogen is brucellus abortus brucella abortus the next one is bovine tuberculosis bovine tuberculosis means so this one is affecting in that is the cattle feed that's the lungs region clear yes that's a species name is which is bacterial species or that's a, which is a pathogen they causing this disease means microbacterium bovis microbacterium bovis the next one the last one of the disease black lung disease that's also comes under in the host organism is the cattle so that's a species name is mostly that's a anaerobic bacteria that's a clostridium species clear children so these are the diseases they caused by bacteria the animal diseases they caused by bacteria clear the last one is the bacteria they caused by human beings the host is a human the human they are affecting certain bacterial diseases first you are mentioning in the name of the diseases and the next you are to be mentioning in that sir name of the pathogen clear children you know any diseases names they affected in that human beings you know children can you able to say some of the diseases names the bacteria caused human beings certain some names names of the diseases tell me children try it ma you know yes you know more diseases name am i correct yes good children very good so they are mentioning in the some of this name of the diseases cholera typhoid and then tuberculosis leprosy and diphtheria and then tetanus food poisoning syphilis pneumonia plague so these are the diseases it comes in that the bacteria cause that diseases in human beings clear then what are the pathogen name cholera means so that's causing that pathogen is the vibrio cholerae then next one is typhoid so that is a name is salmonella typhi so that one is causing that disease of typhoid then tuberculosis microbacterium tuberculosis the next one leprosy causing microbacterium leprae microbacterium leprae pneumonia diplococcus pneumoniae this is the pathogen causing this disease is coming plague yersinia pestis yersinia pestis 
and then food poisoning clostridium species normally then syphilis what is the syphilis diseases they comes under in a sexually transmitted disease okay so that is they comes under in the one of the pathogen treponema and paniculum okay treponema and paniculum so these are the diseases coming in the host of human beings clear children yes so today's class we had completed four five more questions children mainly that's a important four five more question first one is write an account of transformation and second one is beneficial activities of bacteria what is the role of bacterium in soil fertility and very good write that's it antibiotics and their uses clear yes so today i am going to give some homework children the learning portion only okay yes the learning homework so should write it children first one is so all must cover this three questions children very very important five mark questions so that's why again again i am telling this one so all of you try to cover it okay first one very good what is that it sexual reproduction in bacteria transformation transformation five mark question transformation along with the diagram you should prepare okay five mark question transformation then second one is what is the role of bacteria in soil fertility what is the role of bacteria in soil fertility okay fertility clear then third one is very good mention that antibiotics and their uses mention that antibiotics and their uses very good so these are the homework portion children so all should learn thoroughly clear yes thank you students